Oh, it's so spicy. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Neon Sprinkles. Guess what guys, guess what I got in the mail today? You know it, snack crate. I'm so excited to do this because last time we did Germany and if you guys wanna see that video, you can click the little eye up top or is it on this side? I don't really know, <laughs> it'll pop up somewhere. But uh, go ahead, click that if you wanna see the Germany one. I have no idea which one this is, but I'm really excited to find out with you guys. And don't forget, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so this is interesting. It's not one specific place, but apparently we're going on a road trip with Snack Crate. This sounds awesome. So we get to try a bunch of different things from around you know united states <laughs> i'm really excited about that this is so cute look at this little roll map thing before we get started let's read a fun fact oregon and new jersey are the only states that you cannot pump your own gas at remember to tip your attendant kindly that's pretty cool i don't drive so i really don't know the pleasures of pumping gas but if you have someone doing it for you, that sounds pretty cool. Okay, so this is the first snack. Route 11 potato chips. Contains no seafood. <laughs> uh, that's good to know. Let's read a little bit about it. The spicy briny taste that makes crabs so delicious is now captured in chip form. From Virginia, Old Bay, am I right? Wow, like a bunch of crumbs just like <laughs> <clears throat> that is a strong smell. It smells like potato chips with like seawater. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. I love that these are kettle cooked. They're uh, kettle cooked are my favorite chips. I don't know about you guys. I love that intense crunch and it like holds a lot of flavor. But this does taste like seafood. It tastes more like shrimp than crab to me. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like those um, noodle noodle cups. Cup of noodles, yeah. <laughs> noodle cups. <laughs> they taste like the cup of noodles with a little shrimp inside with the spicy seasoning. That's exactly what that tastes like. It's pretty good. I, I really like this. Beef jerky, one of the most popular road trip snacks in the U.S., was first created by the Native Americans. They called it, I can't read that. You know the drill. I'll show you somewhere on the screen and you guys try to read that. Uh, so they call it that or burned meat. That's pretty cool. I really do like beef jerky. I don't, okay, I don't really like it. I love it. Beef jerky is so good. So the next snack is this. It's called Goo Goo Cluster. The original peanut caramel marshmallow nougat covered in chocolate. It feels gross inside. I think it goo gooed inside the package, but it looks good. Ooey gooey candy clusters from Tennessee filled with caramel, peanuts, and marshmallow and coated in chocolate. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so sticky. This looks amazing. It's stuck in the package, oh gosh. Okay, here we go, full on bite. Mm. That is so sweet. Um, yeah, the caramel is so much in my mouth. Mm. That is so good, it is so good. But it felt like I was chewing like for five years, but that's so good, it's like incredibly sweet. <laughs> If you have a sweet tooth, this is definitely for you. I am more of a savory gal. That's pretty good, but maybe one bite every three weeks. <laughs> Next fun fact. Each year, about 53% of American families embark on a road trip every year. I really wanna go on a road trip. That sounds so much fun, being in the car, stopping at places you would never really stop at, seeing everything like just full on. It's not about like getting from point A to point B, it's about the ride throughout everything. All right, the next snack is this. Oh my gosh, I know you guys can see this. Oh, that looks so good. It is an elk and pork snack stick. Oh, elk. I don't think I've ever had elk before. Elk jerky. Chewy and satisfying, these elk jerky sticks from New Mexico are packed with great flavor and protein. Hmm, let's give it a try. Ooh, that was satisfying. 
Oh, that, that was weird. <laughs> that, that smells like ground beef. I took too big of a bite. Mmm, I'm not sure about this, guys. It's really soft inside. I don't like that. That's like, mmm. I'm used to chewing for years on these beef jerky sticks. Ugh. Maybe that's a sign of good quality, soft, but I'm so used to the super hard, like almost wood-like sticks. And <laughs> when I was eating this, all I could see is hashtag you're what you eat. And I'm like, oh, I'm a meat stick. <laughs> Next fun fact, I just spit everywhere. <laughs> The Yosemite National Park in California is the oldest national park. It also contains the three out of ten of the United States' tallest waterfalls. That was a weird sentence, but yeah, I, I get it. That's pretty cool. I've always wanted to visit. Oh, I, I accidentally opened this by trying to stretch it. I, <laughs> I'm so destructive. There's this, it says marsh, marsh heart? Marsh has homemade premium quality Buckeye. They might literally resemble a buck's eye, but these chocolatey peanut butter balls from Ohio are so creamy, they melt in your mouth. I knew it, I knew it. My mom is from Ohio, so. Mm -hmm. So far, it looks pretty smashed up <laughs> and it's already melting and ew. Ew. <laughs> this probably tastes amazing, right? That's a lot of peanut butter. Oh my goodness. So much peanut butter. <laughs> this is legit a Reese's ball. Like someone took a Reese's and just <laughs> balled it up in their hands. It's, it's really sweet and really peanut buttery. I'm not a fan of like a lot of peanut butter in my candy and treats. So this is a little bit overwhelming, but if you're a peanut butter lover, <laughs> If you're a peanut butter lover, this is definitely for you. Okay, next fun fact. An average road trip across the United States can last up between 2,500 to 3,500 miles and takes about four days. That's actually not bad. That's really not bad. That sounds so fun, guys. Let's go on a road trip. All right, so this is just in here without a <laughs> a wrapper. I mean, it has a wrapper, but anything on the wrapper, no brand, no nothing. And it's kind of shady. Kind of sus, right? This is called Joey's Black and White. These soft and fluffy cookies from New York will put you in an empire state of mind. Separate the sides or eat them as one. It's all up to you. Huh. It literally looks like a donut, but it says it's a cookie. So, I mean, just a... It looks like they fried this cookie. That's awesome. Let's give it a try. I would have cried if this hit the floor. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm so confused right now. So like the first bite, it had like this weird like chemical smell. And then the chocolate and then the white frosting like combined in it like, I don't know. And the cookie is really sandy. It's like a sugar cookie you get at like Rowell's or something with like the pink stuff and the sprinkles, but it's like even drier. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird consistency. The chocolate is really good on top though. I don't know about this one. <laughs> All right guys, before we get on to the last snack, I want to ask you guys one trivia question. If you guys get the trivia question right down in the comments, I will totally shout you out and say thank you for knowing all this knowledge. You guys ready? What state's nickname is the first state? Comment that down below and if you get it right, I'll shout you out. So we're on to the last snack and it is a premium Hawaiian tuna jerky. Yeah, it was sriracha. Wow. Okay, so, okay, first of all, I've never had sriracha. Second of all, I've never had tuna jerky. Third, I've never had any type of jerky from Hawaii, so this is a real nice experience about to happen, I hope. Tuna jerky is a traditional Hawaiian snack. It has a zesty, salty flavor, making it a great fuel-up bite. I'm excited about this. It, it smells like tuna, for sure. 
and you can almost kind of see through it. It looks. Mm. That is interesting. Oh. oh gosh, the sriracha is kicking me in the throat. <coughs> oh, it's so spicy. <laughs> I thought sriracha wasn't that spicy. It like, I could taste the tuna the first couple of chews, but then the sriracha kind of like overpowered everything. And I'm just waving this around like it's magical. <laughs> it's good, but oh my gosh, it's so spicy. Mm. So they have other flavors, lemon salt, peppered, original teriyaki, honey glazed, and Hawaiian warrior. That's a flavor. <laughs> I want to see what that Hawaiian warrior flavor tastes like. What? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I had a great time. All these snacks were pretty interesting. I did not like that black and white one so much. And the bug eye. <laughs> Just a little bit. But thank you guys. I had a great time and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.